Hello, I'm Mishka, and uh, this channel is the Helsinki Renaissance, where we will be talking about Asian culture and hopefully the most Renaissance man like manner in which uh, we can arrange for uh, Asian culture uh, being discussed. Now, um, this video will be very simple, uh, me just um, reading uh, a sketch for a list of my top 100 personal favorite Japanese movies of all time, but uh, I'll have to give a couple of explanations over the list first as an introduction uh, because, well, the first thing to say is that my list of 100 Japanese movies doesn't actually have 100 movies because I left two spots open and I'll explain that and uh, to explain that I have to explain why it is that I even do this uh, list here. So, uh, uh, because I did uh, some months ago videos about Edgar Wright's uh, personal list of his thousand favorite movies, uh, I just commented about it uh, kind of casually about his list in particular and about list making in general. And uh, after having seen Edgar Wright's Top 1000 list, I just thought that I would want to make my own list as well. And uh, uh, I sought to compile uh, something like a rough sketch for my personal Top 1000 movies of all time. Uh, personal favorites, that is. Uh, and. Uh, that is why I thought that I'd make a list of what my favorite Japanese movies are, so that uh, it can contribute to the longer list. So that just happens to be the reason why it is that I sketched uh, a personal favorite of my Japanese movies. Uh, and uh, I just decided that uh, around 10% of the film's uh, chosen for my top thousand would be Japanese movies. And uh, uh, in this top hundred that I've compiled uh, for this video, there's 98 of those hundred uh, spots uh, filled. Now, obviously, I haven't seen every Japanese movie ever made, and I haven't seen every Japanese movie that I would be interested in having seen. So, uh, a couple of the spots that I left open is because I know that uh, um, where I to see a couple of more obscure uh, Shinoda movies, for example, uh, or one more uh, Hiroshi Teshigahara movie, I would probably replace some of the selections on the list if I just um, uh, if I filled the two spots that I left vacant with say uh, Yasuchiro Osus and Autumn Afternoon and Akira Kurosawa's Yojimbo, so an Autumn Afternoon and Yojimbo are not on this list, not because I wouldn't like them, but I just don't think that they are necessarily. Uh, enough of personal favorites to warrant being on the list and I didn't want the kind of situation that 20% of my top 100 would be Kurosawa movies for example so I just I left an autumn afternoon and Yojin both the list they could be on the list but only for a short time before I managed to see some uh, some more obscure films that uh, would perhaps be likelier to uh, be more of a personal favorite. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's perhaps introduction enough, and uh, I'll just uh, read the selection from number one, uh, which is Seven Samurai by Akira Kurosawa, to number 100, which is uh, uh, Gojue, or the... Does it have a subtitle of the Spirit War Chronicle by... Uh, uh, the artist formerly known as Sogo Ishii, now apparently known as uh, Gakuru Ishii. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I won't read all of the uh, 
um, all of the numbers on the list. Number one is Seven Samurai. Number 50 is uh, Bushido or the Cruel Code of the Samurai by um, Tadashi Imai. Uh, and uh, you'll just have to sort of um, uh, keep up yourself if you want to know uh, which is which between uh, Seven Samurai number one, Bushido number 50, and Gojo number 100. Uh, so, you know, the, the uh, ranking why something is number 27 and not number 28, that's obviously rather vague, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I listed this basically sort of uh, halfway uh, just, I mean, sentimentality as to what is a personal favorite is kind of uh, a vague reason why something is higher up on my list than it might be on somebody else's list. But, um, I don't know. I mean, this is a kind of vagueness to the listing, uh, certain kind of randomness, but, uh, they are basically kind of frank based on sentimental reasons, I guess. I don't know. Uh, you know, the, the ranking is what it is, but, uh, the, the key thing is that, uh, these films will all be on my top hundred, uh, sorry, top thousand uh, personal favorites for whatever it does worth. But um, anyway, so I already said that uh, Seven Samurai is number one, and uh, I won't really justify why this the something is here too much. I'll just uh, do a quick video uh, reading on the list, but so that the video would be quick, I'll just jump on the list. So, Seven Samurai number one, uh, Teshigahara's Woman in the Dunes is number two, uh, and then uh, Kobayashi's Harakiri, uh, Kurosawa's Red Beard, Tokyo Story, uh, Shinoda's Double Suicide, uh, Kurosawa's Run, uh, Bakamatsu Tayoden at number eight, Sword of Doom by uh, Okamoto at number nine, uh, Sancho the Bailiff by uh, Mizuguchi at number 10. And then uh, Kurosawa Sikiru, uh, Guyokin by uh, Hideo Gosha. Uh, the Hidden Fortress, Burmese Harp, Ugematsu, Uge, <laughs> Ugetsu Monogatari, uh, Pastoral to Die in the Country, Onibaba, Samurai Rebellion, uh, tattooed Life, Pitfall, Early Summer, A Scene at the Sea uh, by Takeshi Kitano, Sweet Bean by Naomi Kawase, um, Insect Woman by Shohei Imamura, The Human Condition Trilogy, which I'm counting as one movie rather than three. I know that that's a somewhat strange decision, but, well, uh... I'll just have to find some way to justify it. Um, otherwise, I might just pick the best one to represent all three. Uh, then number 26, Go Hime by Hiroshi Teshigahara. Uh, Late Spring by Osu. Afterlife by uh, uh, Kyoshi Kurosawa. 29, Sonatine by Takeshi Kitano. Branded to Kill, Kwaidan, Stray Dog. Tampopo, Labyrinth of Dreams, Samurai Spy, Japanese Summer Double Suicide by Nagisha Oshima, then number 37, a really obscure film called Ninja Gari, uh, 38, Ballad of Narayama, uh, the Shohei Imamura version, uh, 39, Sweet Home by Kyoshi Kurosawa, uh, 40, The Naked Island, by uh, Kaneta Shindo, 41, uh, The Blue Sky Maiden, uh, by uh, Masumura, uh, Crazy Family, by uh, Sogo, the artist formerly known as Sogo uh, uh, then uh, uh, Shohei Mamura's The Pornographers, uh, Kurosawa's High and Low, Naru says When a Woman Ascends the Stairs, uh, Kurosawa's Sanshiro Shugata, 
um, the Floating Witch remake by also uh, the well, the color film, not the silent film. Um, Fall Guy uh, by uh, Kinji Fukasako. Uh, Bushido, the crew cut of the samurai. Uh, Chikoku, uh, Radiance, The Bird People in China, Death by Hanging, Kuroneko, Story of a Prostitute. Uh, Pigs and Battleships, Interrealm of the Senses, The Million Rio Pot, uh, Afraid to Die, Three Resurrected Drunkards, Kikuchira, uh, Chigure Weisen uh, by uh, um, uh, Suzuki, Season Suzuki, uh, Dreams by uh, Akira Kurosawa, Silence by Shinoda, uh, Fire is not the plain, uh, Utamara and his five women, uh, Charisma by Kyoshi Kurosawa, Hanabi uh, by Takashi Kitana, Daimajin, uh, Yoso, Pale Flower, Rashomon, uh, To Sleep as the Dream uh, by uh, Kaiso Hayashi, uh, The Twilight Samurai, An Actor's Revenge, uh, by Koni Chikawa, Record of a Tenement Gentleman, Chikamatsu Monogatari, Sanjuro, Chippong, again by Kaiso Hayashi, uh, Kagemusha, Black Rain, The, Bla- the Bad Sleep Well, Northern Elegy, Postman Blues, Assassination, uh, again by Shinoda, the Man Who Stole the Sun, Shall We Dance, Rainy Dog, I Live in Fear, Street Mobster, Wild Geese, I Hate But Love, Electric Dragon 80,000 Volts, Black Lizard, Lady with a Beard, An Inn at Osaka, Big Bang Love, Juvenile A, by uh, Takashi Mika, and... Uh, uh, and uh, I apologize that uh, with some of those I felt compelled uh, to say the name of the directors and at other times I didn't say the name of the directors but uh, anyway uh, you know uh, films like uh, Pale Flower or uh, Branded to Kill uh, or uh, Death by Hanging should be known to anyone who has any kind of uh, uh, interest in the Japanese New Wave and uh, I don't know what this video can offer to anyone uh, not particularly interested in Japanese cinema. So, uh, you know, depending how big a film buff you are, these selections are either uh, all very familiar or they are all very obscure. But uh, anyway, this uh, is just uh, uh, one uh, side to uh, one side in this kind of project, meaning to display my cinematic taste and uh, uh, you know. These are in a vague order of preference, so, uh, you know, uh, well, uh, not surprising, I think, that uh, Yasuchiro Osu's Tokyo Story is rather better than Yasuchiro Osu's Lady with a Beard, which is kind of an obscure silent film from him, but I think a very charming one. Uh, so, that's why some of them are I had another spot that uh, if or as I am making that top thousand, it will be in chronological order. So uh, you know, uh, it won't be apparent that uh, I think uh, Hiroshi Toshigara's uh, Go Hime is uh, more of a personal favorite than uh, say something like. Uh, um, 
I don't know, an in at Osaka or um, uh, Kinshi Fukasaku's uh, street mobster. But uh, anyway, so this is uh, just kind of a brief sketch and uh, uh, this list is meant to be a work in progress. I wish that I had seen something like uh, uh, Yuso Itami's The Funeral. I think it might very well make this list, but uh, uh, well, there's still a bunch of films that I do need to see. I have a couple of spots open and then conceivably if uh, I just happen to see a lot of good new films, I'll have to make room for them somewhere on this list. But uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And if you like, if you like this video, I hope you like some of those other uh, either either other videos on this channel or just other videos relating to that top thousand that I'm slowly building. And um, as I've said in those other videos about my uh, list, if people want to recommend, uh, you know, uh, a movie like Yoso at uh, number 72, uh, that is a rather obscure uh, Japanese movie. Uh, I mean, e even for people, I mean, uh, well, uh, all of this or some of this could conceivably uh, also be called obscure, but uh, even amongst obscure films, something like Yoso uh, could, uh, could be called rather obscure. And if uh, some viewer uh, might know more about uh, or may have seen more Japanese movies than uh, I have, they are, of course, invited to recommend uh, some hidden gems like that uh, if they feel at all inspired uh, because you know some films like Kaiso Ayas is Chippong uh, they the reason why they become obscure is because Kaiso Hayashi doesn't really have any big classics to him that would sort of uh, get viewers in now uh, you know obviously some uh, some films like uh, Crazy Thunder Road by uh, Ishii. Uh, it would be a film that I would greatly like to watch. I haven't unfortunately seen it yet, so it's on my radar. Just because something isn't on the list doesn't mean that I don't like it, because maybe I haven't seen it. And But also I have to say that uh, just, because, uh, just because it's not on the list uh, doesn't mean that I haven't seen it. Uh, it's just maybe... Isn't a personal favorite like uh, some uh, Kurosawa classics that uh, are not the list. Now, I, I don't want to defend, uh, quote-unquote, my selections to viewers who are like, why is Sanshiro Shugata there but not Yojimbo? I don't know. It, it's just, it's what it is. I, I just, I like Sanshiro Shugata. Uh, I can understand why some of you don't, but it's my list. And I like it, and that's why it's there. But uh, anyway, those were some of my thoughts around this list. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.